Who's the heavy metal fan? I don't know. I did look at that and somebody else did. We start with mobility and you know, go to stability and then get more dynamic with movement. Uh, once we're warm, add some resistance and then move into a uh, strength segment. Um, in most days we do a power segment while you're still relatively fresh and then end with Heavy. a strength segment and then a little conditioning. So it's kind of like four segments, the warm up, power, strength, and then some conditioning. A little lackluster today. After an hour and 20 minutes of soccer, it's kind of a little flat, a little sore, but uh, so we gotta step it up, man. Oh! That was like a dynamic warm up. Stability, mobility, progressing into some power. Now we go in the weight room to do strength and power segments. So put this one on your shoulder, the other one's fine. And bring around from your back. Step on the same side, foot. There you go, yeah. It's a warm up, strong finish, five on each side. And then the deceleration. deceleration. Make sure you're gonna stabilize everything, your shoulders, hips, Lumber, oh. right foot accelerate, left leg decelerate. Okay. Jumps over the uh, hurdles, but rotational. All right, two more sets. Same way. How's the weight? Good. A oh, man, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you're trusting or doubting my hops. It's like all day. There you go, nice. Looks easy. Probably should be, but. Oh, we're adding a five? Oh! Nothing, that's nothing. I can prove very Corvio time. Corvio? Is there a reason why you have mini Dixie cups? Yeah. We're gonna do, let's go single arm, front rack. Right now we make different colors of these, but I think the belts are all navy blue. I think this is the last iteration, it's a new one now. And it's that color on the outside. And this has a clip, okay. so it's seamless. Chin-ups are like my uh, nemesis. I've always had like shoulder problems, postural problems, everything's connected, but I've never had that shoulder centralization and stability to really develop lats. And so that's what the idea is to get centralized, neutral position in my shoulders, 
then gain strength and stability in all the little muscles, then gain strength and power in the big muscles. Which big muscles? We need a 30 day challenge or something because it's pretty bad. Tabata, reverse Tabata. Reverse. 10 on 20, huh? one to two ratio. Two, rest. Don't burst. There you go. Strong shoulders, good posture. That's it. Get your glutes to your knees out, grab the ground. Four, three, two, one. That's where you kept the breath. Five minutes side. A little bit. You're still getting fatigued, but it is a little bit of rest. Thank you. I can. I can play a little bit. I bet. I just can't recover my spine. Those speeds and those forces. Like it's just too many miles. I can't. I can look great one day and not look great for three weeks. You know. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That was awesome. I was messing around with the choreo. I'll show you. It actually works shooting resistance when standing and shooting. So you can imagine if I'm behind you and I'm giving you about this much resistance and you shoot. So that's a light, engaging, stability, but getting up, engaging that core all the way through your shot. Um, so just like some sprint, acceleration, and then, and then holding it and like powering through. Um, the same, just a band on the wall. Yeah, so I just used uh, those hiking Clip. things. Yeah. Uh, I took one off. Uh, so you were still getting a pull in the air to, I mean, so it makes rotational. sense. Rotational deceleration, cutting. That's a rotational decel, so I like it. Uh, I was trying to figure this one out. First, it pulled me back. <laughs> Yeah, because you're getting hip hinge position, you're helping yeah. you getting pulled back. And then you start to figure it out and you drive forward more. Then I tried the reverse, like taking it up. 
one time I'm using resistance for deceleration yeah. over acceleration. I mean, yeah. it's more, almost like one to two ratio. Yeah. Everybody's good at acceleration. Everybody likes to explode. throw, explode. Yeah. It, it's fun and it's yeah. easy, but you don't realize the injury right. happens during the yeah, deceleration. Exposed and deceleration. Yeah. Um, and I did like a, just using the resistance, but still using your skills. This is where I think it's maybe its best application. Yeah. It's just and just facing the wall may be good too. You playing the game, yeah, yeah. He's still coming, coming back. back. so many ways to do it. You know what I want to do it with you is the day when you do the uh, ladder and you've just been using the rope. I like to use yeah. a Corvio because I think you get two points, you know, and you can mess with it. Sometimes you put it like this, sometimes like this, sometimes you're behind, sometimes you're on the angle, sometimes you're lateral, in front. You can do progression, regression, and mini band, mess and ball. Yeah, and your, uh, the, your deceleration, when you're in front pulling me and I'm trying to like I'm doing the ladder, but I'm trying, yeah, like trying to do the ladder while you're trying to pull me over. Yeah, I used to do that with the regular super band, yeah. but just having two. Yeah. The, the beauty of this is you can create the anti-rotational. Right. right. Yeah. The rotational forces and changing the stimulus. Yeah. Right. Because in the game, totally unpredictable. So. All right, brother. Thanks. Cool. I'll call you about next week, but we're around. Okay. Bye. You too. Oh, you want me to fight? <laughs> All done. Jeez. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Typical uh, session with you. That's why I like working with him. He's got a good methodology that I agree with. And I, don't, I haven't since we had the baby. I haven't been going to Yo. I was going like twice a week, every week for a while, but. And go, we've, you know, we were supposed to go once a week in the last couple of weeks, but uh, hopefully I'll get back in there twice a day, but twice a week. But it's hard to fit it in with all my uh, <laughs> all my sports. We've got soccer twice a week, volleyball once a week, tennis at least once a week, uh, and a couple sessions with him. But I need it. I go crazy if I don't if I don't sweat and challenge myself physically.